what's the definition of the Laplace transform? So let's get our mind around this machine. It's going to help us solve differential equations. The Laplace transform of a function, f of t, is itself a function. It's defined with this improper integral. The Laplace transform of f of t is the integral from 0 to plus infinity of f of t e to the minus st dt. For any real number s for which this improper integral converges. So it depends on the value of s. The variable on the right hand side, the variable this funny looking function is s. This is a function of s on the right hand side. The little f of t, that's a function of t. So this takes a function of t and converts it to a function of s. For example, the plus transform of e to the 2t. I insert e to the 2t in place of f of t in this definition. I combine the common bases minus quantity s minus 2t. It still says e to the 2t times e to the minus st. And then remember that the improper integral is the limit as n goes to infinity of the definite integral 0 to n e to the minus quantity s minus 2t dt. So if I integrate this exponential, every exponential is its own integral, and I have e to the minus quantity s minus 2 t, but out in front, because of the chain rule, if I differentiate this, a minus quantity s minus 2 comes down. I have to keep a minus 1 over s minus 2 out in front. This is the indefinite integral of that function. And I insert t equals 0 and t equals n. First n, place n in for t. Just rewrite this expression. Place 0 in for t. And I only have to rewrite minus 1 over s minus 2. The e to the quantity times t, that's just e to the 0 over 1. Let me rewrite the order so that I have this negative, negative. So positive 1 over s minus 2 and then minus 1 over s minus 2 with this exponential. Now as n goes to plus infinity, as n gets very large, you expect this exponential to get very close to zero. It's a negative exponential after all. Now it's only negative if s minus 2 is a positive number. So that's what we meant up at the top by any real number for which it converges. This is only going to converge to zero, this improper integral, this limit, if s minus 2 is a positive number. So we're going to note that this is equal to 1 over s minus 2. That would make the second term go away as long as s minus 2 is a positive number. Or another way to say that is the Laplace transform of e to the 2t is 1 over s minus 2 if s is greater than 2. Usually we don't note these restrictions, but that's what it is technically. Now the 2 had no role in this integration, just went along for the ride. It was kind of like a placeholder. So I could have said the plus transform of e to the a t, a could be any number there, and I would get 1 over s minus a as long as s was greater than a. For example, if a was negative 3, the well, plus transform of e to the negative 3t is 1 over s plus 3. Pay attention to your signs. 